Welcome back to our video. Today, you guys, we're going to be going over the Crown Royal Survival Sack or Survival Kit. It's a little basic kit you can carry with you in your backpack, in your car, in your bag, in your bike, on your bike, anything like that. Yeah. This did a little knot up here. You can even put this in a Ziploc bag if you really want to. This is a waterproof bag. This is a spring thing, water sporty or anything like that. Here we have a basic rain poncho to keep us dry or for shelter or even for water collection in a rainstorm. Here we have a basic headlamp. I believe I got that one on a work site. Here we have our Ranger lighter, which is a basic Vic lighter connected to a Vaseline petroleum jelly filled tube with cotton balls. Great for fire starting. And again, Ranger lighter, if you guys want to look that up. Here we have some basic snare wire, shelter building, snare making. Even first aid if you need to make yourself a splint. Here we have two blue zip ties. And I have my water collection bag with five B folium cubes. My collection bags are in my kits just to have something. But majority of the time I'm out in any situation I have some kind of container like a water bottle or a canteen, or even a camel pack. So these are just backups. So I'll always have basic gear with me. So for you guys, I do put these in these kits just so you know that they should have some kind of water orifice that is covered in the kit. Here we have hand warmers. We have two 10 hour hand warmers, two per pack. Then we have basic stormproof matches from UCL. These things are great when you're starting fires in moist environments because I feel like the chemical, not the chemical, but the uh, the reaction just gives off more heat. It's just better for starting fires and dry off your uh, kindling as you're starting it. Here, I just have a nice little flashlight, a little carabiner thing. And then for a third way of starting fire, I have a ferrocerium and magnesium uh, rod here. The striker. The way this works is you scrape off the bigger chunk, which is the magnesium, and then you strike on the ferrocerium rod, and that'll be this is like pretty much the fuel, and this is the flame or the ignition. Okay, we have three blue zip ties. I knew that was gonna happen. And I have an emergency blanket just to keep you warm. Shelter making, staying dry. You can put this underneath you and then wear this on top, or vice versa in a rainstorm. If you don't want to stand. And I got two packs of tea just to boost morale. I have my micro fishing kit, or not fishing kit, sewing kit. Here is a basic survival card. It's really good for all like the little wrenches and whatnot it has. Here's a little diagram. And you can see it has a can opener, knife head, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, four piston, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, saw blade, direction, auxiliary indication, two position wrench, and a lanyard hole. That's a great little thing to have. Next, we just have a micro lens, a little magnifying glass. Uh, for Mostly for fire starting, but you can also use it for first aid, you know, splinters, looking at injuries. Um, yeah, that's great to have as another option of fire starting. I feel like Fire is probably the most basic necessity in a survival situation. 
here, we just have a basic survival card. This has an arrowhead, a fork or a spearhead, two needles, two line collectors, and a plethora of hooks. Ooh. And at the bottom, we have some water purification tablets wrapped in some duct tape for gear repair or fire starting. Then we have some twine for some cordage, just for anything really. I'll go along with our snare wire. And have a little baggie that the survival card came in as well. And that's our kit. Wait, oh, compass as well. <laughs> Sorry guys. For navigation, of course. Yeah, that's the kit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching the video and have a nice day.